<laughs> you're right. You're going. You're in business. Go Amen. for it. Hallelujah. You know, first of all, we like to thank God for this beautiful day that we can come out and enjoy. And I also like to thank God for giving us the opportunity to come and say, Jesus loves you. God loves you so much that He gave His only begotten Son. Whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, there's the beauty about our God through Jesus Christ. Even though we are sinful children, sinful people, but God still loved us. That's what His Word says to us. He loved us so much. Whether you believe in Him, you don't believe in Him, but He still loves you. But He's giving us an opportunity to come and receive Him as the children of the living God. You know, I like to, um, I was blessed by Pastor Paul's um, message about being born again. Being born again. You know, yes, we are born by our parents, by the will of our parents. They come together, have a good time, and we are coming to this world. So, we have no choice but to come into this world and enjoy the life that we live. You know, because we are born by the will of our parents. So we enjoy the life that our parents want us to do on earth. But when we are come, when we are open to the door to receive Jesus Christ or given a message of salvation or given a message of preparation for there is a time coming the Bible says that this world will perish I quote to you the word of God says heaven and earth will pass away but my word will no means pass away so and also the Bible says there will come a time the people that believe in Christ Jesus will be taken to a place that has been prepared through Jesus Christ. So, I'm just taking you to a point that you need to be born again. Yes, I told, like what I told you people, you've been born, you are enjoying the world, you got eyes, you can see what you can see, the same as your parents seen, and ought to teach you and speak to you about things that is happening in this world. Maybe your parents says to you, Son, daughter, go to work, go to school, learn, study hard, and get a good job. You know, that's a good parents. A good parents, yes. They encourage us to live as a children, as a God, as a, a loving children on earth. But our Father wants us to take further. You know, our Heavenly Father, He wants us to take us further, living in a life that is abundant, living in a life that is so good and peaceful and enjoyment. Not in the life that we are living now, just living just to make it. Just to make it so, so we can sleep at the night. We're just hoping that night will hurry up so we can go to bed and forget all about the pain, forget all about the things, hoping that tomorrow will bring a, a good day. But, but instead of saying we wake up till the same day, pain, whatever that you come through yesterday, we'll bring back today. So... But Jesus, Paul was talking about being born again. Being born again is not born by the, the will of your parents or by born by the will of man, but born by the will of God. Being born by the will of God. What do you mean by bo being born by the will of God? Brothers and sisters, it's so easy, so simple. You just got to acknowledge that Jesus Christ, you got to acknowledge that you have a need. That you have a need. Whatever that need may be, but the greatest need of humankind is to have Jesus Christ into our heart. That is the greatest need of every humankind, human being, or every soul that walks on the face of this earth. I believe the greatest need of every person is to receive Jesus Christ into their heart. Paul is playing uh, hide and seek for me, <laughs> but I'm speaking the word of God. Paul is play, playing hide and seek. I'm not playing hide and seek. I'm praying the truth. I'm speaking the truth that Jesus Christ is not a hide and seek. He's a person who reveals the truth. And the truth will set you free, brothers and sisters. I want to make this sure to you. You know, there are a lot of Christians, call themselves Christians, 
but will not make to heaven. Will not make to heaven. They can knock on the door of heaven, and Jesus will say to them, Go away, I don't know you. That's why Pastor Paul was mentioning about be born again, have a relationship with God Almighty. A relationship with God Almighty. Not with the God that you made. With your mind that you think this is my God. Or call anything on earth God. You know, being born again is accepting Jesus Christ fully heartily. Asking Jesus to come into your heart. Knowing that you need a help. We all need a help on this, in this world. We all, everybody needs something. Whether for money, whether for pleasure, whether for wealth, whether for riches. Everybody is looking for something, needs something. But I believe, brothers and sisters, that's why we are out here to encourage you. The greatest needs of every human soul is to receive Christ Jesus into their heart. That's the greatest needs of, need of every human soul to receive Jesus Christ into your heart. So brothers and sisters, if you're hearing this message and ignore it, it's okay. But one day you will face the greatest judgment. The greatest judgment that is from God himself. You are given the opportunity this day to hear the message and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. Don't hide and seek with Jesus Christ. He's seen you, he saw you. Wherever you're going, whatever you're thinking in your heart, God is seeing every flow of your blood, even he said to us. He knows every number of hair on our head. God knows every number of hair on our head. So imagine yourself, you can hide away from God. No, my brother, don't hide and seek with God. Don't play game with God. It is your life. It is your life. Make sure your life is lined up with the word of God. Make sure your soul has accepted Jesus Christ into your heart. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ, brother, there will be a moment, there will be a time, there will be a second, there will be a minute, the door will be closed on you. The door will be closed on you. So accept Jesus Christ into your heart. You had the breath of life while you are breathing right now. Tomorrow might not come. So brothers and sisters, it is your life. Don't play with your life. Live the life that God wants you to live. You know, the love of God is not pain. It is free pain. It is fully enjoyment. It's full of love. Jesus got plenty of money. Everybody's looking for money. But my focus is not to tell you to love money, but to love God. When you love God, God will provide all your needs according to the word of God. So my brothers and sisters, you know, come and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. Your soul is very important to God. Your life is so precious. That's why God sent his only begotten son to die on the cross. The ultimate price that God has paid for his life for us. That's the ultimate price that he paid for my life and your life. For man to die on the cross, that we may have life and live more abundantly. So brothers and sisters, come and accept Jesus Christ. Come and accept Jesus Christ. In, you know, we have our fellow brothers here, they can, miss, they can minister to you. Or we have a table here, if you need a prayer for healing, if you need a prayer for whatever that you are looking for in life. We have a table here, a 92 year old woman. Mighty man of God, woman, sorry, mighty woman of God, full of power, full of love. She will pray for you. She will pray for you. So come, as you come, you expect, you expect, don't just come and, no, you come and believe. When we pray for you, you'll be blessed and you'll be healed. So brothers and sisters, you know, God bless you as you are enjoying the rest of the afternoon. You know, enjoy your day. May God bless you all. In Jesus' name, amen.